washing line smile. Look at her with a washing line smile. Look at her with a washing line smile. Look at him with his doctor eyes. Look at her with a rabbit spur tape. Look at him with his dressing gown. Oh, an identified flying eyes. object. Look at him with his Right knee, come around the front, and spin up. Nice. Look at her, she and spin up. Woo! B-girl. He's, he's got some sick moves. Yeah, she probably did something nuts. Nice. Oh, yeah? Try this. Look at him with his sausage roll foam. Look at her with the washing line smile. Look at him with his doctor eyes. Look at her with the dressing gown. Everyone knows you've got bigger fish to fry than break dancing, okay? Yeah, I've got like tunas to fry. I found literally the best dress at Grandma's. So good, right? Don't worry, Molly, I brought you a dress. No need. I'm going for my gothic little poop beep. Okay, well, you can't, because that's Alicia's thing. Though you, you would look good with some cheek piercings. No one's doing that right now. Uh, Molly, a word? Um, do you want me to clear out? Mm -mm, no, it's cool, Ben. We're all stuck on this planet together. So, alien, banjo, graphic noveling, and now breakdance. You were completely devoted to each of these. I was. Mm-hmm. Then I wasn't. Ben, you should hear this girl play banjo. There's a claw hammer? I know, I know. In the next Matoki Slaughter. Come see me Monday with a plan. If you don't like the electives on offer, you can pick anything in the entire universe, a parallel universe even. But you better do it quickly because it's freaking March. Beef broccoli. Come, you spirits that tend on mortal thoughts, and sex me here. And fill me from the crown to the toe, top full of direst cruelty. Uh, a bold interpretation, Alicia. I can't believe I hooked up with her during her vicarious phase. <laughs> Molly Maxwell, I think you can top that. I have to through it. Come on, Molly, don't do the boring slacker thing with me. She's not a slacker. Okay, she has a genius IQ, FYI. Right. I forgot everyone at Phoenix is a precious snowflake. Please just be ready for next time. Actually, do <laughs> I promise you. Pain. Um, okay, it says to just cut it on your tongue.
Genius. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of record time and all of yesterday's blighted fools the way to dust to death. Out, out, grief, candlelights, but a walking shadow, poor player that stretched and frets down upon the stage and that is heard no more. There's a tale to a blighted eight full of sound and fury signifying nothing. 9.4 seconds. Well. see you again. So what are you on? Acid, but I'm not a slacker. Kids still do acid. I kind of came out here to be alone. So. All right. What you need to do is find a safe place to go and enjoy it. I know right now it might feel like you're never going to be normal again. You're going to spend the rest of your life trapped in some guest bathroom seeing elves climbing out the wallpaper, but you'll come down eventually. Hi. I'm Ben Carter, I'm Molly's English teacher. Evan Maxwell. She's not in any trouble, is she? No, just a little bit too much Red Bull, I think. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Maxwell. Sleep over tonight? Shit! What if we've been permanently altered by this? Oh, <laughs> I think we should just stay in this fort forever. Yeah, let's never leave. What's the big deal, Raymond? I have a decent average. True, but the elective program is what makes Phoenix so special. Have you ever thought that maybe everyone at the school is a little too special? No, I haven't. You know, Molly, this, this planet isn't made for every alien, but I, for one, would be very disappointed if it turned out that regular school was a better match for you than, than Phoenix. No, I'll just... I'll figure something out by tomorrow, okay? Okay. Okay. That's my favorite star job. Okay. What did Raymond want? Well, you know, just getting a Prodigy of the Year award. <laughs> you know, Tatiana thinks I have a real shot at this Fairfax school. It's almost impossible to get an audition. Call me out later, okay? What are you listening to? Paint Dennis. You heard of them before? Yeah. They're on my dad's label. Maxwell Music. Maxwell Music. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So? You solved the great elective conundrum yet? No, but Raymond is starting to kick me out of school if I don't pick something. So pick something. I can't find the right thing. It's just an elective. All right, well, I saw you were taking pictures at the dance before you had that little meltdown. Maybe you could do something with that. They were just stupid pictures of my friends. Larry Wallace got famous taking pictures of his friends. Phew, is it any worse than painting unicorns or making paper sculptures and setting them on fire? What is that class called? Art therapy. I like unicorns. Who doesn't? I'm 
that way, next to Krakow Alley. Krakow is a photographer's dream. Yeah, okay. See ya. Hey, alien. This whole elective thing doesn't have to be some big life crisis, right? Just pick something that you don't hate and do it and get Raymond off your back. But I have to pick something I can be great at. For Christ's sake, you're <laughs> 16. You don't have to have a retrospective at MoMA next year. It's still just high school, no matter what Phoenix says. Good night, Molly. Hey, I have to meet Caitlin at the studio and your dad has a label thing uh, with Heidi, so can you watch Aiden for me? I can stay by myself. At school today, I saw an owl barf up a skeleton. Why do you have owls at school? He's something, isn't he? He's really something. What? Your brother. Oh, yeah. Don't get too carried away. I'll probably end up on meth working at the 7-Eleven. What is that? It's, it's for my new elective. I was thinking of photography, maybe. Oh, <laughs> that's great. Observing the world from behind the lens. I think your dad has an old film camera here. Yeah, but everything's digital now. We can go and see if there are any workshops at Artscape. No, okay, don't. Don't ruin it before I start, so just... Bye. There's leftover kale and quinoa soup. Bye. Photography. Well, well. Um, or need someone to supervise an independent study? Maybe Ben Carter? He seems to know a lot about alcohol. Well, Ben's sort of been parachuted into this madness mid-year. There's a lot to cope with. Um, but Wendy, maybe Wendy could do it. I can't wait to see your warped photos. Maybe this is the ticket. Don't have a fit or anything. I can if I want. <laughs> You guys might recall that this natural versus unnatural stuff we also discussed when we were at Hamlet last month. Thank you for your undivided attention, as usual. So, what makes you think that teaching photography to a chronic bailer like you is how I want to spend my free time? I figured you didn't have anything else to do. It's like charity. I heard Wendy was going to do it. I feel really bad taking her away from art therapy. It's important work. I'm sorry, Molly. I just don't think it's for me. Really? I thought you'd be into it, you know, helping with my conspiracy to beat the system. Like pirates. Conspiracy pirates? Yeah. Your mom's poor local organic heart would just break. <laughs> it's her own fault. Remember that hardcore super vegan kid, Anthony, at your eighth birthday party? Oh my god, he chowed like 10 hot dogs and then barfed all over the carpet. <laughs> Is that the phone ringing? I think Mom is calling. I think Larry Wallace and all his naked people. Woo, naked people, hell yeah. Wait, you mean you actually looked them up? Who's Larry Wallace? So, are you suggesting I take photos of my naked friends as an elective? Because I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Wait, what the fuck are you guys talking about? I didn't even think about that. Well, I gotta go pick up my Teacher of the Year award, so. What was that all about? All right, come with me. I'm going to Kensington with Caitlin and Gala. Well, just take a minute. Right. Well, Raymond promised me a dark room. Great. I think it hasn't been used for years. Dark room? Yes, a dark room. 
you know, like for photography in ancient times. And what's wrong with digital? No, if I'm going to do this, then we're going to do it properly. I'm not a slacker. Wow. Well, wasn't the idea just to get Raymond off my back? I don't recall saying that you wouldn't have to do any work. Just that you didn't have to be the next Diane Arbus. Right. Diane Arbus. Color. Look her up. Well, at least we have a spinning wheel. No, make your eyes look more dead. And don't do that with your lips. Just look bored. If you don't like how I'm doing it, then take pictures of Gala. Just don't post so much. I think you look hot. Ben was telling me about this really awesome photographer who takes pictures of all kinds of freaks. I heard that Ben rides a motorcycle. Ooh. I don't think that's true. But he isn't a band. Well, look who's the Ben expert. Yep, just like that, Gala. <laughs> hey, do you ride a motorcycle? No. Why should I? No, probably. Maybe we shouldn't look at this batch. You're like a little boiling tea kettle. What does that even mean? I don't know, actually. Not too shabby. Of course, they'd be better if they were in focus and not overexposed, but uh, not like those are the basic principles of photography or anything. <laughs> not bad. Not one word, Mom. Hey, okay, I just think it's great. There was seven words. Take my picture. Can you turn your body into a pretzel? I can try. See, you're a natural. Oh. I think it'll be very cool to have a photographer in the family. Mom, just saying. Want to cut down on the practice there, monkey? Your body's starting to look weird. <laughs> Want to come see Heidi Slater? Yeah. I know that game. And I don't mind playing. Love's disguise flashed before our eyes saying, Stay, stay the night. Stay, don't fuse, so you must find your muse so you can weigh, weigh your might. Fields of us, they go, we run past fast slow mo. What are you doing here? My dad's over there. She's gonna be the next feist, apparently. Oh, thank God for that. We need a new one. You think your dad could introduce us? And you could do your English homework at the bar while you wait. I actually have some work to do in the dark room. Dude. I scored some pot cookies. It's not exactly how I want to spend the afternoon either, but I have to pass. Save me a cookie. Lame. We're lame. Favorite food? Sushi. Very sophisticated. Yeah. What's your real favorite food? Sushi. What's your real favorite food? <laughs> okay, nachos. <laughs> That's what I thought. Um, keep doing that. Favorite place? The island, probably. That's specific. Toronto Island, you don't know? It's just across the lake, but it's like another planet. Raymond must love that. <laughs> you know it. There's a lot of great stuff there, like... A lame amusement park.
Yeah. <laughs> Lovely amusement parks. <laughs> yeah. We should go there on a fail trip. I'm tired of taking photos of my friends. I'm tired of your friends. <laughs> and there's a lot of little cottages, no cars, and beaches, and a ferry. Love ferries. Pleasant. We should just go there right now. Yeah, probably not kosher. It's for the good of my art. You'd be saving me from my fate at Starbucks. It's not even really a big deal. Didn't realize you were such a conformist. Judge me. As if. Come on, who is it? Probably the ghost buttons. It's a made up name, isn't it? <laughs> so, what happened to your band? How do you know I was in a band? Google? Google me, huh? Boring story. Industry is just terrible these days. That sucks. Yeah, I wish I could impart that to the fabulous students of Phoenix. You can be as wonderful and talented and unique as you like, but it doesn't mean your dream's gonna come true just because everybody says you can do whatever you want. Raymond would spontaneously combust. Maybe you just weren't that good. Probably. Anyway, teaching's a noble profession. I guess you could always play guitar in the subway for change if that doesn't work out. Yeah, keep dropping electives and you'll be right there with me. <laughs> Not me. Haven't you heard? I have the IQ of a genius. Shh. They probably just added up the scores from. Not half bad. Hey. Oh my god, no. Do not bother. Waste of film. Um, you probably shouldn't develop those. Uh, she's going to Parkdale.
There wasn't a phone anywhere. Well, maybe you should have called before you went to the island, alone in the dark. Hey, Aiden, Jesus, enough already. Go to bed. It wasn't dark when I went. And if I had a cell phone, this wouldn't be an issue. I expect more from you. Why? Maybe this time we got her a cell phone. <laughs> Daddy. Huh? Molly. Don't make plans for a while. Oh, what? Since when are you like an authoritarian? Sorry, fucking streaker. I actually waited for three full months to go by and tell me you haven't read Savage Love yet. We're waiting for you, Dove. Where were you yesterday? Gala broke up with Andy. What? Why? I thought you were obsessed with her. She was just such a girl, it was annoying. So where were you? I actually went to the island to take some pictures. But with who? No one. You went by yourself. Okay, well, actually... I can't believe you ditched this to be a loner. Well, I did get grounded. Can you believe that? Marilyn grounded you. Mm -hmm. What about the Egg Castle show? You know, maybe we wouldn't be in this mess if you'd just come over. That's it. <sighs> Relax, and you'll squirt. <laughs> what? I'm working on photography. Yeah. I really like it. Oh, beautiful. We need someone to document the crazy energy happening around here these days. That's me. Mm -hmm. The media is filled with negative gender stereotypes. For example, women are expected to be small and graceful, while men are expected to be tall and broad. You guys did it here in town? Hey. When are we gonna meet again? I developed a few more roles, but uh, I don't. Yep, um, I'll get back to you on that, Molly. If you just take your seat, you're a little bit late. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's the babe. Okay. All right. So it's something really cool for you guys today. Um, this is Jordan Dunhill. She's a filmmaker here in Toronto, and uh, she's going to show us her ultra-modern take on Macbeth. Trust me, you guys have never seen Macbeth quite like this. Thanks, Ben. You're pretty lucky to have this guy as your teacher. Now, it's a bit shocking in parts. For example, Macbeth is played by Marianne Shanley, a woman. Hey there. How was your day? Fine. Just fine? No, Mom, it was the best day of my life. Can I go to this talent night thing? Sounds like torture. Um, it's a school, yeah, it's a, it's a school activity, so yeah, yeah, I guess so. So that means she can come to the egg castles, huh? Well, no, she's grounded. But you just said I could go to talent now? Because that's different, not a concert. Egg castles are way more talented than anyone at my school. I gotta go. I know that you need your privacy more these days. No, Mom. Any of these talks we really have to have? Well, 
I was pretty clueless about my own sexuality for a very long time, which affected my self-esteem, which led to bad decisions and- Like what? And that's another conversation. You may not want to talk to me about anything, but we're going to Planned Parenthood and you're going to get the pill or the ring. Actually, there's a lot of options out there now and you can just talk to the doctor about it. I'm not having sex. You're acting different. Anything you want to talk to me about? No. Maybe this will help. Dinner's almost ready. You're in for a treat. <laughs> Just kidding, it's gonna be really uncomfortable. So you wanna go on birth control? My mom wants me to. Even though I'm not, you know, having sex. You have a boyfriend? I like someone, but it's compli it's complicated. Well, I can prescribe you birth control, but it doesn't mean you have to go have sex all over the place. I'll try not to have sex all over the place. Well, I mean, what would you do? Would you tell him you like him or what? Well, I'm pretty straightforward, so I'd probably let him know somehow. photos. So how are you doing? Good. Great. How's Jordan? Jordan? Yeah. She seems interesting. Yeah, you would think that, right? I mean, her parents are actually like carnies from the circus, but she is extremely dull. It's the weirdest thing. You know how to make a contact sheet yet? So, Caitlin made me promise to check out that ridiculous talent night. I thought I'd take some photos. So many precious snowflakes in one room. It's like a blizzard. So who's next? Ben should play something. No, Molly, I, I think this is a student talent night, so maybe you should demonstrate your skills. Yeah, but photography doesn't translate to the stage, so. Come on, Ben. Don't be lame. Yeah, come on, Ben. Don't be lame. Um, okay, well, I should probably apologize in advance. Um, here's a song by some city mates of yours.
Oh, young lions This is your kingdom Every beast has its poison Every lion has its victim Okay, now he is sexy Choose your Maybe I should go for it <laughs> Throw the ashes out the window Empty Mickey by the river Shining like a broken halo Not gonna lie to you, it was a great show. This is the worst Easter ever. Well, at least your sentence is over. Hey, I had a drink with your English teacher last night. You had a drink with Ben? <laughs> He's young, huh? The kids must eat him for breakfast. What did you guys talk about? Well, you know, how shit the music industry is, the usual. Seems like a good guy, though. Did he mention me? Yeah. He said you were super cool. Really? Mm-hmm. Anything else? Well, I don't remember the entire conversation verbatim, Molly. Oh, your mom wants you to ask the extra that. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Oh. Morning, Benny. Good morning. Don't you think I'm too old for this? You might want to look in the tub. <sighs> no. An iPhone? Is it for me? I love you! <laughs> I want an iPhone. It's not fair. Who are you gonna call? Hmm? Mozart? I don't think he has a cell. Right, go get your Lego. I'll play. I'm gonna go meet Gal and Caitlin. Will you tell mom so she doesn't spaz out? What about me spaz now? I'm gonna go meet Gal and Caitlin, okay? Sure, you wanna ride? I'm going to pick up a cell phone for Aiden. Yep, and next Easter we can do firearms all around. It'd be tricky to hide though. You look really nice. Say hi to the girls for me, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Growing up. I see ya. Hi. Hey. I, um, I just wanted to drop this off for you. I didn't think you'd be home. Just gonna put it in your mailbox. I love this guy. I actually have something for you too. Just wait there once. I was gonna give these to you at school. Um, I borrowed them from an artist friend of mine. Wow. 
Was it Jordan? Yeah. So they're probably boring. You probably come in for a sec. Okay. Cool place. Sure, sit down. Okay. I love these. So you having a good Easter? Yes. Dad gave me an iPhone. Mm, great, now you're gonna become one of those texting demons. Ran into that again. I heard. How was that? A bit bizarre, to tell you the truth. Why? No reason at all. No, Molly, um, I actually have to get going pretty quick. Yeah, me too. I'm meeting the girls. You were wallowing here in self-pity. Yeah. Drowning in scotch, actually. That's good I came by then. Yeah, you're a real godsend.
so sore, I got into a huge fight with my mom and I got held up, so. We talked to your mom, she said you're with us. So where were you? We are gonna leave without you. Oh. I met a guy at the streetcar, at the streetcar stop and we got to talking and, you know, walking around. I didn't even realize my ringer was off. Who is he? His name's Spencer and he goes to Parkdale. Okay, what's he like? He plays the trumpet. Ooh, a musician. Mm-hmm. Like it? Yeah. <laughs> tell me, tell me. He's in the gifted program. He's gifted. <laughs> yep. That's really great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you should invite him over. That would probably um, end things pretty, pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah, I see your point. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> just ruin a print. It's fun. I think I ruined that myself. No, no, you're killing it. Wow. Your brother is a remarkably flexible young man. Are you okay? I'm totally okay. Are you okay? I'm scared shitless, to be honest. Sorry. <laughs> You're something else, Molly Maxwell. Is that a good thing? No. Then like a hand grenade. All right, well, uh, keep up the good work, yeah? <clears throat> if you want, you can uh, come over later. You're coming over, right? I can't. I'm meeting Spencer. When do we get to meet this guy? Sue? Do you have a date with that new girl yet? Mm, yeah, but I'm not sure she's my type. You should take a photo of him and send it to us. I'll try. I'm sure it's colder in your apartment than it is outside. An igloo would be warmer. Yeah, you're probably right. Igloos are amazing because um, the, the, the snow insulates them and then your body heat warms them up. Is that so? Yes. Well, it's also a fact that people are warmer without their clothes on in a sleeping bag or in a duvet. That's a fact, is it? Yeah. 
you have some photographs to show me? What? I'd, I'd love to see some of your photos. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> this one's lovely. Do you have to burn in this corner? Yep. Dodged a bit there too. <laughs> wow. Burning and dodging. I know. Your mum looks ecstatic. You don't really. I want to spend the afternoon looking at photos of my mom. Clothing stays on. Richard, you can't possibly go in there. I already gave him seven bananas. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't want to go. So just... You should stay. At least until the search party finds me. Yeah. I can build a little dungeon for you somewhere. It was too far. <laughs> I at least need a trickle of daylight. not even stopping to eat anymore. He did. Saves a lot of time when you don't chew. Sit. Come on. Tell me all about your date with Spencer. I'm really tired. I'm sure they're in my room. You want me to get this developed? What? No. Don't go through my stuff. Clean your own sheets then. It'd be cool, I guess. Maybe they'll be more inspired if it's something that they can relate to. I mean, if you made the assignment into an iPhone app, then maybe you'd have something. You turned me into a precious snowflake. Isn't that enough? Right. Maybe I should use that Stella technique with the rest of the class. <laughs> Shit, you gotta go. Hey, who are you talking to? Aunt Susie. Hmm. Wanna go to a secret Joel Plaskett concert? I'm not really into Joel Plaskett that much. No? Nothing wrong. We could have a Guitar Hero marathon. I kind of have a ton of homework, so... Okay. Hey. Okay. Today we're going to be starting our poetry unit. So what? Um... You get a boyfriend and you just decide to peace out. No, I've just been really busy with a photo. But all of you guys actually listen to poetry every single day, in a sense. On your iPods. So, we're going to start this unit by looking at songs as modern day poetry. And then we're going to write our own. What's some of your favorite songs? Lady Gaga. The Wordsworth of Pop. This is so lame. Great. 
Anybody else? I like the zombies. Star? Very nice to see you awake. Uh, any song in particular? I don't know the names of the songs. Okay. Well. So have you guys done it yet? Because today, no. you guys have a one-day reprieve on iPods. And Told you so. Yeah. Pick a song, write down the lyrics, we'll meet back here and discuss it. Okay? Did you get out to the Tiger Rod show last night? No, I had a stack of papers to grade. Oh, that's a shame, it was epic. Dad, you're too old to say epic. Oh, look who's too cool for your dad now, huh? Please don't embarrass yourself. So, um, Ben. Um, um well. Molly's uh, uh, assignments and her class attendance have been much more consistent. Good. That's great. Yeah, and, and her independent study's going brilliantly. Um, she, she's printing her own photographs in the darkroom already. Photos? Tic Tac, why don't you tell me? Show me your photographs, Molly. Yeah. Great, you should be doing my band photos. Maybe we should just get you into a summer. Okay, okay, please, please, please go. Couldn't you have pretended to be sick or something? I mean, for Christ's sake. I tried. I'd have to be on my deathbed for her to miss a conference. All right. Right now, where are you supposed to be? Homework at Gala's. Seriously? Seeing your parents accept me into the family now? My dad wants to marry you himself. You know, 200 years ago, no one would have any problem if I took you as my child bride. Cleopatra was like ruling Egypt when she was my age. Is that even true? I think you'd make a great pharaoh. Hey, clothing stays on. I'm not taking them off. He's winning some trumpet awards. I should, uh, you hear him from Fairfax any day now? Oh my god, it's excruciating. Hey, Ben, where are your pajamas? Oh, I forgot all about it. Hey. 
I got the pre-release of the new ghost button. Can you take your seat, please, Molly, so we can start? All right, so uh, I thought we could read a few of your songs today. Maybe you'd like to go first? Me. I dreamt I carved your initials into my heart. With each beat, they grew and warped like a tree over the years. I dreamed I carved your initials into my heart. With each beat... Molly, how long have you been in this class? Are you going to fuck around on your phone? Go see Raymond. Why? Because you're blatantly disrespecting me. Well, you're being an asshole. Get out. What do you want me to tell him, Mr. Carter? You tell him you're acting like a spoiled brat. He's crazy. Are your moons out of orbit today or something? Ask Ben. He just freaked out on me for no reason. Your call is important to us. Please hold. Well, what do you think he did? You're allowed to do anything else with your precious hands. Mom! Mom! Oh, Jesus. What? Molly broke my pencil. He threw it at me. He could have taken my eye out. God, Molly. You've been home for what? Two minutes? You always take his side. You were supposed to pick up Aiden from piano. He waited an hour before they called me. Isn't he old enough to get himself home? You're really acting like a spoiled brat lately. You're becoming a total bitch. I'm literally gonna punch you in the face if you don't leave now. Guess what? Alicia cast a sex spell on me today and left a note on my desk. Is it working? I don't know yet. Do you think I seem different? You're a jerk. Look, just never wear pigtails ever again. Promise me. Yeah. Hey, Raymond. Hey. Wow, look at all your photos. This is interesting.
Ben, can I have a word with you in my office when you're done here? I can come right now. Great work, Molly. Raymond was asking questions about us. He sent me home. That's right. What did he say? He was asking about the fight and why we're spending so much time together. We're my photo advisor. I could go to jail, Molly. I'm above age in Canada. I looked it up. Not if I'm your teacher. Look, um... Well, don't be surprised if Raymond wants to talk to you as well. Fuck me. He's gonna call your parents. I'll just tell them you're my new talent. Molly. This is not funny. I can still come over, right? I don't think so. And I'm gonna need you to clear out your phone as well. That's what you want. I don't wanna get you in trouble. Do it. Come on. What if this is our last chance? Would you rather I lose it to some asshole after a bunch of beer bombs? Is that really the only other option? Probably. It just feels wrong. I don't see the difference between this and the other stuff. Hmm. Well, you might when you're a little bit older. Nice. Condescending or what? Don't be childish. Mommy and Daddy are probably looking for me. I want to keep them waiting. Hey, hey. I need you to delete those text messages now. Tattoo of a pentagram on her back right above her ass. So put that. So here's a witch. Her parents are witches too. It's like witch pride or something. Yeah, but a big witch tattoo at 16. Is not all that so? God, I mean, why do people feel this constant need to shove their beliefs down everyone's throat? Like mine? 
You know, at least uh, Sierra wouldn't stop being a witch because some guy came around. Yeah, she wouldn't, like, ditch her other witches. So you want to tell me you're okay? No. <laughs> Tic Tac. You need some greasy brunch to soak up that hangover? Ben Carter has resigned. What? This isn't even on school property. You want to talk about that? I was practicing making a fake photo. Ben superimposed. Molly. This isn't a fake photo, is it? Well, it doesn't prove anything. Molly, the fact is, leaving school property with a student alone without the permission of your parents is a serious enough offense just on its own. We were just taking photos, nothing happened. What could have happened? Are you gonna bring out the bad touching doll now? Give me a break. Molly, show him some respect. Okay, look, this happens all the time. Okay, in fact, just last week I met a girl your age who was being taken advantage of by her basketball coach. She thought she was special, 
thought she was the only one he'd ever break the rules for. Turns out he'd done it four times. No one took advantage of me. We need to discuss if you and your parents want to press charges against Ben Carter. For, no! Maybe we just need some time alone with our, our daughter. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Not so fast. Well, Mr. Maxwell, we really don't have any evidence if she doesn't cooperate. Who's Spencer? He's my boyfriend. No, he isn't. I say we call this Spencer and see what he you know, knows. I... I don't think that's necessary. Why not? Because I don't think we should get Spencer involved. You know the Spencer guy? He goes to Parkdale High. He plays the trumpet. Hey, Molly. So is it true? That's so fucking awesome. Totally new, by the way. Didn't I tell you? No. Ben's like, what, 26? Why can't he get a girl his own age? My parents are like 10 years apart. M my mom was like 18. Yeah, but she's 16. I mean, she just got her braces off, like, what, six months ago? I think he's done it before. Hey, your favorite movie's on. It's not my favorite movie. What are you talking about? Of course it is. No, it isn't. Well, you're grounded, so don't even think about going out. I don't know this guy like you do, but I do know that teachers aren't supposed to mess around with their students. You're a smart kid. An amazing young woman, actually. 
You're gonna make your own mistakes. You'll live. Call me if you need me. Or text me or email me or or write on my wall. <laughs> You're here. Here I am. Parents didn't uh, barricade you in your room. My dad's actually probably taking this opportunity to fit the locks. How have you been? You know, relieved not to be in jail. <laughs> Thanks for that, by the way. I think you're gonna like this first song. It's called Hand Grenade. <laughs> ben, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Sorry for what? For developing the roles and everything. Yeah. Ain't no thing. Maybe we could get something to eat after. I don't think so. <laughs> Probably not. I gotta go now. Hi. Um, this is my first ever solo show, and this is going to be the first song that I have ever written, so <laughs> I hope it's not too painful. Oh, I'm not sure. 